it's basically just the risks of of what what could happen and in different scenarios for somebody that's in uh recovery or somebody with the addict mind that's going into the holidays you know uh a lot of times when um we're in our active addiction we experience loss and um one of the main things that we lose is family right they're quick to write us off it's really hard to win their trust back yeah and so either you're you know you're in a position where your family doesn't want to be around you because you were kind of a an asshole and and you Mm -hmm. were you're neglecting them and yourself or your family could be you know still in active addiction themselves there's that right. scenario too so right um you know like when you burn your bridges and you're sitting alone at home and you're in recovery you can get lonely yeah mm-hmm. and and in the holidays i mean that sucks yeah i mean we've all experienced just now in this year 2020 what it's like to kind of feel alone. Like I think the suicide rate has went up because people people yeah. are just alone. They just you know they can't handle it. And yeah. and that's one thing. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, but there's a there's a pyramid. There's like, you know, a couple things that you have to have in order to gain um, like sobriety and and good health. It's like um, like you gotta have a geological place. Uh-huh. And then you got to have love within that place. And then you got to have esteem from the people around you, like, mm-hmm. you know, telling you good things. And all that <clears throat> is like something people need in recovery. So, like, if you're not able to go to see your family, you might be alone. Yeah. Um, or if, like, say, if you live in, like, the sober living scenario and you can't go see your family, but you got everybody else there who's a little further along or they've made amends and they've developed relationships and stuff. And they go off for the holidays and then you like your network's gone too. Mm-hmm. So you still kind of feel alone. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I think a lot, a couple of those things like, um, that you brought up. I mean, the, the idea is once you get alone and you're in that situation, it's real easy to get into self pity, mm-hmm. which is something I think a lot of addicts we do. People do it, but we do a lot, and we do it to an extreme, you know. Um, like you said, like you might not get an invite, right? Because a lot of us were running the streets, doing crazy stuff for years. Then we've been sober for six years, six months, or six days even, mm-hmm. and we think, "Well, I've been sober for six days now. Why isn't everybody welcoming me with open arms back into that family?" Right. And time takes time. People, it takes time to rebuild and refoster, reconnect, and redevelop those relationships. So understanding that it takes time, 